Hello, welcome back. What is up? Um, we are here back today to uh, solve uh, our first puzzle box. It is called The First Puzzle Box um, by a designer named Will Strebos. It is maybe not my first puzzle box, that is the name of the puzzle. Um, and this is the primary reason why I started recording these puzzle videos in the first place. This is not your ordinary average puzzle box that you might find at the local game shop. Um, so it's my first uh, sort of expensive puzzle. It was a gift. That it is a long distance gift. And uh, this is the only way I could think of that I could share the enjoyment of going through the puzzle without them being in the room. So I wanted to show my appreciation uh, by videotaping myself, uh, hopefully solving this puzzle and having a good time doing so. We have tradition. Uh, we've got another beer today, our IPA. Um, we've gone all out. We've got the Fulton 300 IPA. It has mosaic hops, but it's not too much mosaics. I've had this before. It's one of my favorite. Uh, just the right amount. Let's crack this open and start solving some puzzles. And here we go. There is our first puzzle box. Awesome. This thing is super nice metal construction. Um, this is really heavy, which I know you can't get through the video, but um, I don't know, I didn't weigh this, but it's gotta be, uh, it, it's, so, it's at least five pounds. Um, there's some eight pound dumbbells down here. It's probably close to eight pounds. Um, this thing is very heavy and very, very nicely made. Um, so it feels like it's well worth the money here. Um, I'm guessing that's a signature down there of some sorts. So uh, let's go ahead and start the timer um, and uh, let's see what we can do. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so here we go. Um, so looking at this, uh, there's a top, this whole like top square looks like that goes around on all sides. This should come off here. A um, couple things I notice. There's a little notch right there. Um, there's a hole right here that goes somewhere. It looks like I might need a screw. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get that into the camera lens very well. Um, but there is a hole there that's got maybe an inch or so deep. This side looks pretty good. Similar to the other side, there's this notch here again. Um, and then we're back to the front. Um, this screws, that's probably where we're going to start. Um, at the bottom, there's another large hole. And uh, this one has a frowny face in it, it looks like. If you can see that frowny face down there. Wah, wah. So, not quite sure what that has to do with it. I have really no idea um, how long this is going to take. Um, so, this screws off first. Let's start with that. And uh, not going to take anything for granted here that, um, well, not going to take anything for granted. So, what seems like one piece might be more than one at all times. And this looks like it's just one piece, I think. Okay. So obviously this moves up and down. So here's that. This screws. So let's unscrew this. Bop. Still stuck. Okay. Uh, that looks like potentially I was going to say a button, but I don't think... Oh, here we go. Boom. That comes out. Okay. So, this definitely looks like Allen wrench type thing. Oh, what does this say on it here? It says 4 millimeter CRV. Huh, okay. I don't think that's really important. Tiny little Allen wrench thing. Uh, so let's see here. This is going to be used for something. Um, just want to see if this screws in both ways or not. So that goes on there. Pretty good, almost all the way. Not sure if I need to use this. Sometimes you can like re-thread these things. Um, it's going to assume that that's just going to kind of stay as is. So let's leave that there for now. Um, 
So if I push this in here, Oh, but we got a, this latched in, so I think I can screw this now. So unscrewing on the inside. Is it screwing anything actually? I can't tell. I uh, can't tell if I'm actually screwing this together or not. There it goes. Okay, so I cannot go to the right. Hmm. Oh, here we go. On this end, that fits nicely. So let's to make our own little screwdriver here, maybe. Okay. So now, with that all in, so now we've got our own little screwdriver. This in. There it goes. Is it in all the way? I can't tell. I think I'm loosening something. Definitely feels like it. As I'm pushing in, turning counterclockwise, and it looks like it's threading itself further and further out. Let's just keep it going. Maybe something else will pop out here. Doo -doo. Okay, so now that's stuck. So that is maybe out all the way. Oh, whoa, -ho -ho! okay. All right, so we got more movement on the inside here. Got more movement on the inside. So now, um, it's gonna be kind of hard to see in the camera here. That little nut or bolt, whatever, is a lot closer to the outside than it was originally. And now the top, no movement there. But, we got something inside to play with here. Oh, oh, nuts, okay. Our frowny face, our frowny face has dipped back. And look at this, there is something else. So there's that, so let's put that down. Okay, so originally, the puzzle would have been like this. The frowny face would have been at the bottom, so let's flip it up, put this in so that locks, so the frowny face can't come all the way down. Now we're here. Then my next guess is that we screw this back in. Can't go any further. That was definitely a lot further, a lot deeper originally. Hmm. And now the rod in the bottom here doesn't exactly go away. That rod in the bottom there is still there. Okay, what now? There were, um, uh, I, I said it was a gift, so I guess I'm not quite sure, but there were there was literally no instructions in the way I got this. Um, so I don't know if there's any supposed to be like some sort of like banging or tapping per se, um, or anything like that. I guess I'm not quite sure. like starting mode on the top essentially this is this is starting mode at the top but now I've got that rod through the bottom
Doesn't look like that's doing anything. You have me stumped. You've got me stumped. Messed with that a little bit. That's there. Interesting. Bar going on the inside. Cross here. That, that moves now. Oh, shoot. Now goes now, now the smiley face goes down. Interesting. So maybe the idea is to get the bar to go across, keep the smiley face where it is. Okay, now let me screw this back. See, it does go farther than, than that. See, 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 look at that. That is almost all the way in now. Oh, I feel like I've got more give here than before. I feel like I've got more give. And actually this whole top plate, which I'm assuming is the goal for the puzzle, is connected to this thing right here. So as I move this, it's kind of hard to see. As I move this up, the this tool moves with it. So that's definitely connected somehow. Interesting. Uh, strange. So what I was trying to look at or notice is, I'll see if I can see in the camera. If you look into the hole there, if I can get that in the light just right. Uh, how do I orient this? That maybe. That as I screw this, you might see a bar show up. Is it there now? It is not there now. Hmm. Where did I see that? So if I try to look into that, there's basically nothing on the inside there. Essentially nothing on the inside. Now, however, if I get this back, put that down. Now there is, now there is. You can see that little rod going across. There's a rod going across. So if I tip it upside down again, is there a way to get this tip upside down? <laughs> okay, so one thing that I'm pretty confident about which I think I've said a couple times and probably have been wrong is that when in order to get this out this um this piece that's accepting the allen wrench goes with it so that has to go in further because I'm pretty sure that's getting hit on the casing so if I try to screw this in let's see how far we get that's as far as this goes right now there we go. Um, you know, it looks like that could be far enough, but it, it can't happen when it's when it's out, right? So, might even need to go further. I guess I'm not quite sure. battery here we might have to take a break maybe grab some food grab a snack put the camera charge up and keep at it so let's go ahead and just do that we are back it is a different day <laughs> this is day two i decided that uh last time um once i went up and made some food that i needed to take a break um I had spent an hour and almost two hours already on this, and I think I needed a clear head, so I got some sleep. Um, it is actually in the AMs uh, here, which is nice. The first time I'm trying to do this, so I got some coffee today, um, and maybe a little caffeine will help me um, get unstuck from where we're at on our box puzzle. I was um, talking to some friends, just saying I've you know I started working on this puzzle finally. I've been looking forward to it for a long time. Um, <laughs> it's kind of frustrating because I've been stuck at the same spot actually for about, you know, an hour and a half, 
we made some decent progress for the first 10 minutes, but then that's about it. But on the other hand, I'm really glad that I didn't just open it up in, in ten, five or 10 minutes because, um, you know, when you, when you, when you pay some money for something like this, uh, it feels great, but you really do want to get, um, uh, some minutes, <laughs> get some time out of it maybe when you're solving it. So, okay. So let's see here. It's weird that this pin in the, that's like right about here, probably, that goes that you can see through the top hole, doesn't want to move when the frowny face is in the, further in the cube. I'm just kind of trying to look through the crack here on the top just to see if I can see anything that might offer any sort of assistance, I guess. <laughs> I accidentally paused the camera there for a second, looks like, but uh, still haven't made any progress yet, so didn't miss much there. So what are we missing here? It seems to be that wherever this thing is has no impact on moving that crossbar and moving the frowny face and moving this bottom crossbar. This piece has virtually no impact on any of that, huh? Interesting. Interesting. I'm not quite sure what to make of that then. Huh. This does actually fit. This is new. I don't know that this actually does anything. This does fit perfectly right there. <laughs> Probably just scratching the finish here, to be honest. So I can just do that with my fingers. Hmm. Well, about another hour into this, and uh, I would venture to say no progress. <laughs> um, so I think I'm gonna take another break. I'm gonna refill my coffee. I might work on this off camera for a little bit. Um, maybe get a chance to try to play around with it closer to my ears and some different light sources and that kind of thing. Because um, at this point, you know, three hours, three hours into it is uh, timer is no, uh, an exact timer is really not that great. Um, you know, this is going on multiple days, and so if it's anywhere between four, five, six hours, there's no need to record all of that. But if it looks like I make got a hint of uh making progress or something i'll definitely want to hop back on um but yeah we'll kind of take it from there so okay so i'm back uh i was actually in a work meeting and i started fiddling around with it and i'm not exactly sure what happened but i've never gotten this screwing in this far um and let's see if i can i don't want to ruin it i'll tilt it this way so you can kind of see that had never gone in this far the smiley face is up here um I heard the back pin drop, so I'm gonna keep screwing this in. I think we have a solution. That is in all the way. That has never been in all the way. So now, can I take this out? This does not open. This does not open, but this was never that deep. That's what I've been trying to do for a very long time. So now that that's there, now what's keeping this from opening? All right, so I have a pretty good view inside here and I think that is the right position for this threaded nut thing, that nut thing right there. Okay, so now the question is, my guess is I need to get that pin to come back out across, right? So how do I do that, huh?
let's see. That was pretty good. I was able to screw that in further. So let's see if I'll screw this out. Only want to go as far as I need to to try to get this pin to come down here. Is that far enough? That is not far enough. That does not seem like it's far enough either to keep trying. My, my guess, hopefully my solution is, is whatever mechanism I finally figured out to like get this to go back in all the way, once I have this pin across where, it, where it's um, out of its little hiding spot, is that that is the solution. I heard that shrimp, shrimp, something went shrimp. I think I'm back at the start now, huh? Okay, and I need to get back here. So there's gotta be a way to get that shrimp sound, whatever it is. Uh, but I'm gonna need that pin across probably. That's gotta be the trick, right? That's gotta be the trick. Interestingly enough, whenever that goes, um, this thing seems to be stuck right here. So there's some combination there to work on. <gasps> there we go. This is deeper, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is good. Screw this in all the way. Huh? Oh, we got it! Oh my goodness. That should not have been that hard. Should it have? Holy tamole. There you go. That is the inside of that. Here's our... Oh, nice. On this side, there's a smiley face. Sweet. Here's our frowny face. Okay, so I thought at first that there might have been, that it was right that this was a barrel. I thought there might have been a hole here that whatever thread we were screwing into here was getting involved with. Um, gosh, that is interesting. Cool, super cool. All right. This is great. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit to uh, look at this and see if I can really understand the mechanics of what's going on on the inside here, and then we will come back. Yes, yes, we earned another beer, I think, after that. Maybe we should start doing beers after we solve the puzzle, huh? I was really starting to get desperate I was thinking about asking for hints, seeing if someone could maybe look up a solution and then see if they could give me a hint without me actually looking at it. Um, I didn't I didn't actually end up caving into any of that yet. I think if it had been maybe another 24 hours, I might have um, delved into a hint, but I'm really pumped and satisfied that I didn't have to do that. Um, so here's how this thing works. Now I'll try my best to explain it to you here if I can, is it's a double barrel, system here. You've got these two barrels that go into your chamber here. Okay. Um, and what needs to happen is you need these two barrels to go into the chamber and they have to be split. You have to have one on this end and one at the top in order to get this thing screwed in all the way. They have to be split, right? Okay. And so this is a very, very delicate solution. Actually, um, it's, it's pretty intense. Right now, this is screwed on all the way. 
So those two pieces, if you can picture the chamber right here, these barrels are separated. And so naturally, you're gonna put together your little tool, screw that in. Can't go in any further, so you have to loosen it. So we loosen it all the way. Doesn't really benefit you to loosen it after a certain point, but we'll loosen it all the way. And now the two bar the two chambers, two barrels are together right here in the chamber. Okay, but that little bar at the top, right, is basically sitting like this right now, and so I can't pull this out. I have to get that into the middle. So let me make sure we got this lowered all the way. Get that bar to go across the top. Can we get the camera to see that? Boom, that bar is in there. Okay, now I need to split the barrels that are inside the chamber. Keeping the top one where it is. I want the top one to the top, right? So let's start there. So first, let me kind of hold it upside down and get both of my barrels to the top. Screw that in. Get this locked in place. Okay, so now both of my barrels are on the top. This thread where this uh, Allen wrench is going is pushing against that bottom barrel. So let me get that bar to show up across there to give me a little bit of wiggle room. Okay, so I'm gonna loosen the thread slightly. Tighten it again. Okay, and now my frowny face is, is up against that pin. And so naturally then the idea is I need to get the pin to the right. So I've got some gravity working with me. So I'm gonna go like that. Get the pin gone, loosen it slightly. There goes the pin. And now tilt it just a little bit so that the smiley, the frowny face goes to the bottom. There it goes. Now I screw in. And voila, we did it again. Uh, pretty, pretty neat though, pretty, pretty cool puzzle. Obviously very solid build and design, so pretty happy with it. Um, looking forward to more puzzle boxes. This was a level nine out of a level 10. So hope maybe I'll try to tone down next time. So it's not quite as stressful, but we'll see what we can do. Peace.